guys you're welcome back to my channel hope you guys are feeling good my name is Bukumi Bikekran so guys we're gonna be checking out this video titled Christian priest interrupts Khalid Yansen let's check it out guys why do you say that uh, the church says that God impregnated a woman that is not what the church believes well to be honest with you uh, what the church believes and what the church says they said 354 years after Jesus Christ hmm. so I don't think that 354 years after Jesus Christ whatever the church came up with at the Council of Ephesus or the Council of Nicaea I don't think it holds any legitimacy when we connect it to the 19 statements that I could quote to you about who Jesus said that he is hmm? excuse me well why don't you read it for us Okay. Just, 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 just read your question. Yes. Come, 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 come over here. Wow. Look, look. I'm, I'm, I'm sorry about this, but... No, no, hey, sorry, I, I, I said, why do you say that the church says that God impregnated a woman, and the word I'm saying is impregnated, that is not what Christians, the church believes. Christians believe that Mary, as a virgin, not impregnated by anyone, therefore. Mary, as a virgin, empowered by God, gave birth to Jesus. I'm not talking about whether Jesus is God or anything else like that. What I'm talking about is, why do you make the application that Mary was... Why do you say that Christians say Mary was impregnated by God when we say something different? Really? Oh, wow. All I'm asking you is to represent Christians and their beliefs fairly. Now, if you've done it out of not knowing, I don't mind. But Christians don't believe that God impregnated mm -hmm. Mary. They believe that God empowered Mary to give birth to a child. Yeah. Which is, I think, what you believe. You don't believe... Don't, don't ask me what I believe. No, but, just, state your question, yeah. then I'm going to answer you. What okay. I'd like you to do is, you might have a little follow-up, so why don't you sit right there while I answer. Mm -hmm. Now, since you opened up this can of worms, yeah. 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 we're going to talk about it. Okay. Now, the, the concept that the church does say about Mary is that Mary is the mother of God. Yes. Yes. And as such, they also believe that Mary is also the daughter of God. In another sense, yes. In another sense. And also that Jesus, I mean that Mary, that she is also the immaculate. That is, what does immaculate mean? Without sin. Without sin. That means like a human being that is perfect. Mm. Yes. Good. So as the mother of God, she's the mother of God, that is the mother of Jesus, and she's also the daughter of God because Jesus is also God. Yes. And I will want to try look, I will want to try and sit and all this later. Just, yes. Well, just a moment. I'm answering. We'll answer the question. Yes. Okay. Now, I never said that the church said that Mary was impregnated by God. I didn't say that. Okay. You used the word impregnated. Well, well, but that's not what I said. You used really? the word impregnated. Well, let me just cl clarify for you mm -hmm. that it is not my understanding as a Christian, previously a Christian, that your belief is that God impregnated Mary. No, what we say, what we understand, which is a different understanding that you have, is that Mary was impregnated by the Word of God. That the Word of God was placed inside Mary and she became pregnant. Okay? Now, now, what, now what, we have, what we have a problem with, Reverend, what we have a problem with is this paganistic concept that God has a mother and God got a daughter. Now that means God is locked in on both sides by Mary. God is, Mary is God's mother on one hand and then she's God's daughter on the other hand. Now that's a problem with anybody. Now that seems to be some incestuous relationship there. Can, can, can I respond but, now? Can I respond? Well, listen. Let, let me say this to you, if you were sort of like, um, if you were sort of ir ir irritated by me, by your thinking that I said that Mary is impregnated by God, I'd take that away. 
And so, uh, so you, you have that. Mm -hmm. But you yourself said to everybody here that Mary is considered to be the mother of God and also the daughter of God. We say we reject that. Now, you can rent your own hall and give your own speech, and then I'll ask questions to you at another time. Uh, can, I, can I just say, okay. Because well, there's more questions okay, here. Yeah, all that is, I simply wanted you to clear the allegation that okay. God impregnated Mary. Okay. You have done that, and okay. I would agree that Thank the you. question about how Mary's mother is God another time. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, uh, we, we want to thank um, we want to thank our friend, and uh, and no aspersion meant to the Catholic Church at all. Just a matter of concepts. Thank you very much. So it seems the pastor kind of got it wrong from um, Caledian's point of view because I've never heard any Muslim scholar say anything about God impregnating Mary. I've never heard any Muslim scholar say such because I've reacted to a lot of videos concerning the birth of, no, um, concerning Mary giving birth to Jesus Christ. So he said he just wanted to confirm that and yes he said that what he is always saying is that if Holy Spirit came upon her, Mary was impregnated through the word of God. But we believe that naturally she, she got pregnant without having intimacy with any man. So the pastor was just trying to say that um Jesus was not impregnated, but it was through the Holy Spirit she she was able to conceive a son. That's what he was saying. So, Kaliasi was also saying that, oh, he didn't mean it that way. He didn't mean it that way. And it was not like, if God is the father of Joseph, then Mary is the daughter of God. Wow, oh, this is serious. This is serious. All I can say is that the, the priest actually got it wrong. Because if not, it shouldn't have been an argument at all. Because... There's no way the man could have said it in that way. But him also saying that he was, uh, Mary was impregnated by the word of God. Is it right to say Mary was impregnated through the word of God? Oh, well, thank you so much, guys, for watching. Don't forget to smash that subscribe button for more likes and comment. I'll see you in the next one. Stay blessed. Bye.